It's time for the Coach's Corner Show with your host, Pat DiCibato. Hello, welcome to the Coach's Corner Show brought to you by Beggar's Pizza. I'm your host, Pat DiCibato from the Daily South Town newspaper, and we are at Apple Chevrolet, 8585 West 159th Street and Tinley Park. We have a great show for you tonight, folks. Uh, first off, Andrew football coach Adam Lewandowski will be our first guest. T Bolts in the playoffs again, Class 7A. 25th seed, coming off 6 and 3 regular season. Um, lost a heartbreaker in week 9, 14 13 to Lincoln Way West, but Coach Lou will have these guys ready to rock and roll, that's for sure. Um, the T Bolts are at Nazareth. Tough draw. Nazareth's 8 and 1, but hey, that's why you play the games, man. The T Bolts will be ready to roll. Um, also, going to have on Apple Chevrolet sales manager Andrew Remus. Uh, 2007 grand of Lincoln Way East, quarterback Lincoln Way East. They advanced to the semifinals in his senior year. Uh, he knows all the ins and outs here about uh, Apple Chevrolet. If you're in the market for a new or used SUV, truck, car, come to Apple Chevrolet, 8585 West 159th Street in Tinley Park. They'll hook you up. All right, folks, we are going to go to a beggar's pizza timeout. When we return, Andrew football coach Adam Lewandowski will be our guest. Stay tuned. We came up with a bunch of clever commercial ideas to entice you into trying Beggar's Pizza. We decided to let the food speak for itself. Hello, boys. I'm a drop-dead gorgeous pepperoni sausage whole the vegetables deep dish pizza. Mmm, just look at my cheese. Your place or mine. Beggar's Pizza. We lay it on thick. Thank you, Coach's Corner, for celebrating all these great athletes. Now celebrate the American classic with Apple Chevy. Classics like the Chevy Impala, Originating in 1958, the Chevy Impala is older than the state's Hawaii and Alaska. It still holds its sleek and stylish design with a focus on luxury. It has the option to have the power of 305 horses. Don't take my word for it. Come test drive it today at Apple Chevy. Having surgery or dealing with some type of nagging pain that limits your function? Then get to athletics. We offer treatment for all types of orthopedic injuries, work-related injuries, and sports injuries. Therapists with over 20 years of experience provide treatment that is efficient and effective. Our 2,000 square foot clinics offer state-of-the-art equipment from HydroTrack, Blankenship, and Biodex. If your doctor suggests physical therapy, then you suggest athletics, where every patient is treated like a champion. All right, welcome back to the Coach's Corner Show, brought to you by Beggar's Pizza. Our first guest tonight, Andrew football coach Adam Lewandowski. Coach Lou. How are you? How's it going, my man? Great, great. Good, Good to see, see you again, man. Thanks for coming on board. Congratulations on a, another postseason, second straight postseason. This is your third year as coach, and you guys open up Saturday at NAS, 1 o'clock, correct? Yeah, correct. Okay. All right, well, let's talk about these two consecutive seasons qualifying for the playoffs. What are you most proud of about these last two seasons, man? Um, you know, really, it's about the kids and the community members and the families that are involved with the program and the school. I'm just proud to be part of it myself. I'm proud of all the hard work and commitment that um, uh, that I've done and that's been returned back to me and to the program. Uh, just being part of it, um, growing together, has yeah. is been just kind of a dream come true, and that's really what it's all about anyway. Yeah. And, uh, you know, who we are, T-Bolt Family Finish, that, that really means something not just to me or to the players, but to the families, to the school, to the community members. And now it's really growing, yeah. and uh, and now it's 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 becoming the th the, the thing that we envisioned it. To yeah, be. it's almost like a movement, man. And I know you're very big into your kids being involved in the community. Yes. I mean, the community service and all that. So, you know, that's a that's a huge thing. Absolutely, huge giving thing. back. Yep, giving back, man. All right, so you know, when you took over, the program was a little bit on a, on a downward swing. You come in, and now you've built it up in, into this playoff caliber team. Um, what was the key? Do you think to kind of getting people to jump on board and, and kind of being a part of this vision that you have for this program? Uh, well, what we talked about early on was uh, that the wins and losses are something that's going to come and it's going to take care of itself after the hard work. Yeah. And so just the authentic me message of working hard and having the outcomes 
later and not worrying about the outcome, not wor working backwards, just working hard every chance you get. Um, and we really are developing that, that warrior culture, the warrior mindset where, you know, you work as hard as you can whenever you can. Uh, you take care of yourself and take care of those around you. You take care of where you are. Yep. And, um, and just carrying that for the community and, and doing those things. And the wins and the losses are going to handle themselves at the end. As yep. long as you work hard, as long as you're fighting as hard as you can and winning everything in life, you know, the, the wins will come. Yep. Absolutely, man. Um, I, I know you dropped, dropped, dropped a heartbreaker last week, 14-13 in overtime to Lincoln Way West. Um, so now you, you, know, you, you got your team ready for the playoffs. What was your message to your players going into this first week in 7A? Well, uh, Lincoln Way West is, is a great team, and they're coached very well. They have great players, and uh, they're very committed to their program. And so we knew it was going to be a very hard game for us. We knew it was going to be a tough game, and we really relished that. Yep. And uh, so we had a ball. We had a great time doing it. It was a heavyweight bout. And, uh, you know, we took our lumps, we gave them theirs, and um, yeah. at the end we, we came out short. But because of the way that we battled, because of the effort, because of the tenacity and overcome all the adversity uh, throughout that game, if you were there, everybody knows what I'm talking about. Um, it was a message of great job. Now you're ready. Now yeah. you're truly battle tested. Um, they are uh, one of the tougher teams that we played this year in terms of their aggressiveness, um, and in terms of uh, their, their power scheme. And so, you know, to finally go through that at the end of the season, uh, it, we felt forged in fire. We yep. felt like we were finally ready to take the playoffs. Yep. And so it was, it was a message of, um, okay, we're going to learn from it. We're going to watch the film. We're going to review, get better, work on the things that we need to work on. But understand that the things that you just experienced are going to help you now in the first round yep. and then going forward too. That's a, a win from a loss right Absolutely. there, correct? Okay. Um, what is it about this year's team that has surprised you the most in a positive way? Um, you know, the, the maturity of the seniors um, is not, I, I wouldn't say it's a surprise, but it's been something that I've really enjoyed. Um, I knew that the, the youngsters coming up, a lot of them played as sophomores. I knew that they were going to be really bought in. I knew that their effort and, um, and what they brought was going to be high value. Yep. But it was the seniors that are still around, you know, Eric Lucas, Amir Raquel, Adam Juma, Tommy Schiller, uh, Butchie Remus, uh, Wood, and, uh, and Ryan Garbrecht, and, and the guys that have been around, uh, Pavelka. You know, those guys that uh, have d various roles on the team that have been in the program with me for the, these three years now. Yep. First the sophomores, a couple of them as, as starters. Uh, now they're the, at that maturity level where, you know, we have that time together. We have that, that, uh, that shared commitment together after three years now. And I'm just really enjoying that part. Yep. So not a whole lot of surprises. I know pretty well the guys that we have in the program. They all work very hard, high integrity, high character. Uh, their families are high character and they teach a lot of great, uh, great things at home. So none of those things are a surprise. But it's just uh, I'm enjoying I'm enjoying right now the seniors for a lot sure. of satisfaction uh, and I'm also enjoying the kind of advancement of the maturity of the younger players yep. too. Okay, well you know they, they say the the sign of a, a good team is winning close games and you yeah. won three games Thornton, um, Bradley, and Lockport by a combined 20 points. Man, yeah. what were the key to those games coming out on top of those games? Uh, really staying true to ourselves and to uh, the game plan that we put forward. We knew that we had good game plans going in. We do a lot of work um, as a coaching staff ensuring that we have the best possible game plan for our team going forward. So staying true to that, making the adjustments, all the things that you need to do from a managerial standpoint, a creative standpoint throughout the game. Okay. So that aside, that has been really solid. But our players are very disciplined and they, they hold true to what they're supposed to be doing. They all do their jobs and uh, they do it because it's the right thing to do. They play for each other, you know, and those things combined, we know that if the close game comes, we're going to have all the preparation to get through all those moments, and, uh, and, and they are prepared enough to, to handle all the things and flexible enough to handle all the things that, that come our way that maybe we didn't quite see coming. Okay. Yeah, not beating yourselves, right? Correct. Penalties, the turnovers, you know, you handle those things, you're going to win close games. Correct. Right? Yeah. Well, we're, we're plus Preparation. 11 in the last four games and turnovers, so wow. we're, we're feeling pretty good That's about huge, that. man. That is huge. All right, folks, we're going to go to Lisa Thomas Salon Timeout. Remember, three locations, Mokina, Tinley, Orland Park, right around the corner here from Apple, as a matter of fact. Uh, we come back more with Andrew football coach Adam Lewandowski. Stay tuned.
At Lisa Thomas Salon, we think loving yourself and your selfie starts with the perfect stylist. That's why we've assembled an amazing team, each with a unique passion for beauty, providing the perfect combination of innovation and experience, then adding just a little bit of fun for hair, skin, nails, and makeup. No one does beautiful like Lisa Thomas, because life's too exciting to settle for the same old thing. Schedule today at Lisa Thomas Salon, a Red Hill Elite partner with three area locations. Bob's Auto Body and Repair in Blue Island has been prospering since 1968 when Robert Warnick Sr. opened a business. Bob's goal? To go above and beyond to satisfy their customers. Whether it's a small ding or a major collision repair, Bob's is a trained technician and state-of-the-art equipment to meet the high standards their customers expect and that Bob's demands. Bob's also offers complete mechanical services for your automobile, from an oil change to brake repairs. Mention this ad, Bob's will detail your car for free with any auto body work or give you a free oil change with any mechanical work. Bob's Auto Body and Repair, Blue Island. If you're suffering from physical pain, nothing else matters. The one thing that should is Midwest Orthopedic Consultants because experience never mattered more. Serving the community for 25 years with over 90 years of combined orthopedic experience, our fellowship trained surgeons provide individualized care to those suffering from orthopedic pain. We deliver comprehensive care from diagnostic to surgical to rehabilitative services, all under one roof in each of our locations. Midwest Orthopedic Consultants, bringing university level orthopedic care close to home. Hi, right, welcome back to the Coach's Corner Show, brought to you by Beggar's Pizza. If you're just joining us, our guest, Andrew Football Coach Adam Lewandowski. T-Bolts finished 6-3, and three, open up the Class 7A state playoffs Saturday, 1 p.m. at Nazareth. All right, Naz is 8-1, and one, pretty solid team, only lost to Marist. Um, what's it going to be like? What do you think you need to do here to, to go up there and pull off the old upset, Adam? Yeah, uh, Nazareth, uh, Tim Racky does a great job there. Uh, oh, yeah. You know, since the inception of that program, they've only grown and gotten better, and uh, they do a great job. Uh, they're a great team, definitely a form formidable team. Uh, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to play our perfect game. Yeah. You know, and that's what we've been chasing down this whole time is, you know, trying to find a way to play our perfect game, and, and that's really what we're going to need to do. They are outstanding, and uh, they're well coached, well prepared. They have outstanding athletes, and... Uh, and so that's that's the uh, without giving too much away, we're going to need to <laughs> play our perfect game. And you might have a joker or two up the sleeve sure. in the case. Sure, sure. <laughs> that's what makes it fun, that's right? It's right. like a chess game, that's man. Right. That's that's awesome, yeah, man. That's what makes high school football so beautiful. Yeah, right? absolutely. And it's, you know, the forecast is calling for a little rain. It could be. That could work to your advantage, Who too, knows? right? We'll you take never? it. We'll take it how it comes. <laughs> You're ready to roll, That's regardless, right. right? That's right. All right. Um, so you look at this, the, the program right now, top to bottom, you know, the talent you have returning as juniors and some of the freshmen and sophomores that will be making a, the move up. Um, what has you most excited about this, this group moving forward? Uh, you, you know, I, I'm very much um, in the moment, and so uh, not really looking past this week, to be perfectly okay. honest with you. Uh, but if I, if I try to pause that reality and, and look forward to the future beyond the season, uh, I'm really excited about our freshmen and sophomores. I'm excited about the junior class now, who I've been with, it feels like, more than one season already. And just having them kind of come closer together, I'm very excited about that. Uh, we have some Bobcats and Bulldogs players that uh, I'm really excited about coming into the building. I know that they're all going to want to be part of this. Yeah. Um, and uh, so the future definitely looks bright. Uh, a few years ago, I, I had a very good feeling that that was going to be the case. And sure enough, that's, that's been true so far. And the way it looks right now is going to continue to be true. Yeah. And, uh, you know, families in the area, they are understanding that uh, Andrew's an outstanding school. You're not going to find a better school in the area. And uh, it's tuition free. And that's so nice. if, if, if you have to put comparables next to each other, a lot of the things that we're doing look outstanding. And uh, I, would, I would argue that we're doing a great job, and uh, we stand to be picked over anyone else in the area. Yep. And you look at the facilities, man. That's outstanding. you, you got and great we're facilities. Only, yeah, and, and we're only growing, and we have uh, several larger classes coming in. Um, and, uh, yeah, we're, we're doing great things there. Uh, yep. Girls sports, boys sports, certainly our test scores and all of our club's activities. Yep. Um, you know, and talking to one of your players earlier in the season, and I asked him because, you know, I, he, when he was a freshman, you went around and you come in, and I said, what was the big difference, man? Why is this program kind of just t taken off? There's a lot of momentum, a lot of positive energy, and that's what he said. He goes, man, Coach Lou brought in energy, you know? <laughs> He's just positive and, you know, discipline, you know, what what we need to be, has to be done in the off season. Everyone bought in, man, yeah. so your message 
is resonating with, with kids and with families. And what is it about that message? Why has this been so successful for you? Others have tried and it hasn't been successful. You, um, there's some about you that... Well, <laughs> uh, I'm certainly not special, that's, that's for sure. But what I can say is that um, what I say to them and what I bring is authenticity. I truly am living my dream right now. Um, I have an amazing wife and kids and outstanding family and support. Uh, behind me so having that is giving me a lot of strength my faith obviously and then and then just what I am able to do on a daily basis living out my dream is is uh, probably why they see the enthusiasm and the excitement and the energy is because I, I truly love what I do every day I think the key word you said was authenticity man yeah. you know you're, it's not a sales job no. what you're saying you believe Correct. That, and that, that people see that. People definitely see that. All right, and lastly, what, what would you say is the most difficult part about being a high school coach today? Uh, today, well, I mean, I can't say what it was like as a high school coach back in the 90s uh, when I was in high school. Uh, but what I can say is that is challenging now is that there's a lot of other parts. Uh, you have a lot of things that are, are playing out in social media, yeah. uh, things with um, other schools that you're competing with. Um, and then the recruitment game, all of these things are kind of ancillary uh, challenges that you have to continue to navigate and get better at. So I wouldn't say that anything's you know, really challenging in a way that hasn't been before, yeah. but I would say that the, the workload of the job has probably increased. Yeah. Um, there's certainly some things with technology that help you with recruitment of your players, which is, which is excellent, yeah. but it does still require a certain amount of work. And so, uh, you know, I, I tell people all the time, if I wanted to work seven days a week, 24 hours a day, I could certainly do that. <laughs> you picked the right a, profession. It takes a lot of uh, <laughs> flexibility, but also discipline to uh, cut off the work day at some point. But, um, you know, you're always there for your players and your coaches and, and, your, and your students. But, um, but I would say probably the largest challenge of the job nowadays is that it's just it, it's increased. So many variables, it's right? Just yeah, increased. It, it has. It's a, it's a year-round commitment, man. And like you mentioned before, having an understanding wife is a huge key to success <laughs> That's true. as a coach, my that man. That is true. Right? She's in this with me every step of the way. That's the key, man. All right. Adam, thanks a lot, my man. Thank you. Congrats on another great season. Thank Continued you very much. success this season and beyond. And I'm yes. sure we'll have you down on down the road next Perfect. year, my man. Thanks, okay. Pat. Always appreciate it. All right, folks, we're going to an athletics timeout. When we come back, Apple Chevrolet sales manager Andrew Ramos will be our guest. And he's a Lincoln Way East grad, quarterback the, the the Griffins in the 7A to the 7A semifinals back in 2006. So stay tuned. Athletic Sports and Orthopedic Physical Therapy is a 2,200 square foot facility that includes the latest in rehabilitation equipment, including the HydroTrack underwater treadmill. All therapists at Athletics are experienced and offer hands-on treatment for patients that require such therapy. Whether it's your feet, ankles, knees, hips, lower back, shoulders, elbows, wrists, neck or jaw, Athletics is here to help. We at Athletics understand you as a patient have the right to choose where you receive treatment. Ask your physician if Athletics, with locations in Oaklawn and Orland Park, is right for you. Whether you're in the mood for a Chicago-style hot dog, Italian beef sandwich, Philly cheesesteak, or charbroiled cheeseburger, Joey's Red Hots has you covered. In the mood for something lighter, Joey's salads promises to hit the spot. Looking to cool off on a hot day or after a workout? Joey's refreshing homemade Italian ice will satisfy. Come check out Joey's Red Hots at 17400 Wolf Road in Orla Park or at 115th Street and Western Avenue in the Beverly community where they're open until 5 a.m. on Fridays and Saturdays. No matter which location you visit, Joey's Red Hots promises to provide exceptional tasting food at an affordable price. We came up with a bunch of clever commercial ideas to entice you into trying Beggar's Pizza. We decided to let the food speak for itself. I'm a half sausage for you and your husband and a half just cheese for the kids who never seem to stop moving. Go ahead and take the night off, Mom. I got you covered. Beggar's Pizza. We lay it on thick. All right, welcome back to the Coach's Corner Show. I'd like to thank Andrew football coach Adam Lewandowski for being our guest. Good luck Saturday against Nazareth. Go Bolts. And now our guest, Andrew Ramos, sales manager here at Apple Chevrolet. How's it going, my hey, man? Good to see you again. It's been a long time. Oh, huh? it's been a long time, man. 2007 grad of Lincoln Way East. Back in 2006, his senior year, quarterbacked him to the semifinals against Mount Carmel. And 
a tremendous game, tremendous season, man. Yeah, it was, you guys it was had a, a great year. season. Yeah, it was, the guys still talk about it sometimes. So, <laughs> well, this, talk about what you know. You look back on that. What do you What do you remember most about that season in your experience, your senior year? You know what? Year, uh, a special bond. I got to be honest with you. The uh, the team was really close together. Um, actually, with, even started in the 2005 team. We uh, we lost a really close um, member of the team last week to a, a tragic accident. Uh, his mom's a uh, real good customer of mine too, uh, Andrew Tagley. Um, he was in a terrible car accident, and we lost him last week. So uh, my condolences to yeah, the family yeah. and the in the East community. Yeah, man. They, yeah, everybody but rallied. There was a ton of people at his at his wake and funeral, and you could just tell that we all, you know, it was a special team, and it, it still holds true to this day. Yeah, lifelong friendships, yep, man. Right, absolutely. brotherhood. Yep. It's a brotherhood. There's no doubt about it. So you kind of know what these kids are all getting ready, especially a quarterback. Playoff pressure is a whole different animal than the regular season, man. What advice would you give to all these kids? As they embark on their on their playoff journey here, beginning this weekend, you know what I would tell them to relax. You know, uh, each week's different. Trust your teammates. Um, you're not going to win the game by yourself, and uh, just be prepared because uh, I got to tell you, it's the best time of your life. And yep. I, I still think about it all the time. We talk about it all the time. We got guys here who go to, went to Andrew, or guys who went to St. Rita, or Brother Rice, and we still joke with each other. But you go to you go to away to college and. Uh, you get married or have kids, and that, there's no doubt about it, it's the best time of your yeah, life. And, and you, you, you can't get it back. So enjoy it um, and, and cherish the moment. Yep. Kind of sit back and smell the roses a little bit yeah, and take it exactly. all in, man, because yep. you might never get that experience again. All right, let's talk about Apple Chevrolet. You guys have obviously sold thousands of cars and trucks and SUVs to satisfy customers through the years. What sets Apple Chevrolet apart from the competition? You know what? Uh, it's honesty, probably. Um, we got guys who, who are going to sit here and, and, and tell you the truth. You know, the Internet's a, cra a crazy, crazy thing. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I tell my kids, you know, not to go on the Internet, but you, you don't even, uh, you know, it's like one of those sayings, uh, and when you're on the internet, you can't really uh, believe what you read. Right. You know, so it, it's the same way in the car business. People they advertise prices that they uh, they can't honor. And uh, here at Apple Chevrolet, if if you see it, um, we're honoring it. Yep. And uh, I got guys who will take care of you before the sale, during the sale, and and, and after the sale. It's just yeah. just the way we operate. All right. So you know. End of October here. Why is it a good time now to come in, visit Apple Chevrolet if you're looking to purchase a new or uh, used vehicle? Uh, you know, the, the manufacturer's doing a real good job with the rebates, uh, selling off the 2018s into the 2019 models. Um, we got the all-new Chevy Blazer coming uh, beginning of the year next year. So the Equinoxes and Traverses, uh, they really incentivize to get rid of them. Yep. Um, people who have uh, struggling with credit, they've, they've taken a uh, turn here to help people who, who credit struggled from the past. And uh, rates, you know, you hear interest rates are creeping up, they're creeping up, because yeah. the economy's good. And uh, incentives for the rates are, are really good at the moment, too. So they're, they're doing a good job with that as well. And, and you mentioned the Internet, man. I mean, and obviously it's changed the way car sales oh, have gone, yeah. correct? I oh, mean, it's changed yeah. our industry, yep. newspaper there, industry and all that, I, man. Customers that come in now, they're, they're probably educated better than some of my salespeople. <laughs> I, here's my trade. Here's what I'm paying for the car. Um, either you can make the dairy again. And you're like... All right, well, let's go. So, you know, it, it, it's really, it, sometimes it's too easy. You yeah. know, you, you think there's a gimmick, even we think there's a gimmick to it, but people are, you know, uh, internet is educated people and uh, it's, it's done it for the best. The, the good dealers have uh, really adapted to it and the dealers that, that played the games, they, they're they kind of, they're dying off. So. Yep. Yeah, so people are a little bit more prepared when they yeah, come oh, in, right? Yeah, there's, yeah, there's, yeah, it's like they went to the library, you know, <laughs> and studied it for a little bit. All right, I know, now you have three daughters. Yeah. Your yeah. wife's expecting a fourth yep. child. And we're not saying that because you love your daughters. No, absolutely. But, yeah, son, you wouldn't break your heart. No, it would not break my heart. There's no doubt about it. Uh, uh, I can tell you, my uh, oldest daughter, Addison, I got Juliana, and my uh, baby, Antoinette. Um, hello to them. But uh, we are all hoping for a little boy except for uh, Juliana. She says it's going to be a girl. She so we'll, girl. we'll see. Well, good luck with that, my man. Thanks. I, I hope you get your boy. But hey, <laughs> you're having a fourth one right. regardless. We'll take healthy. Right. We'll yeah. take healthy. That's the key. All right. Andrew, Pat, thank you very you much. Again. Good to see you, yep, my have man. Have a good year. And uh, go Lincoln Wings. Go let's, let's bring Griffins, it home. That's right. Yeah. Bring it on back to back. Yeah. That would be something. Yeah, yeah, man. 28 in a row would be kind of sweet, huh? Yeah, that, that would be something, man. Good luck to those guys. Good luck to everybody. So. And Coach Z and Coach Palisar, they wanted me to tell you to say hi. They had nothing but good things to say about yeah. you, my man. Yeah, they're good guys. Good, good so. guys, aren't yep, they? Absolutely. They're the best. All right, folks. Either stop by the showroom or jump on AppleChevy.com. Check things out. they got a lot of great cars, trucks, SUVs here. Showroom's beautiful. You can't miss it on 159th Street. All right. We are going to go to a Labriola Bakery Cafe timeout. When we return, Players of the Week, high and tight. Stay tuned. Looking for a unique dining experience with incredible food? Then check out Labriola Bakery Cafe. 
Opened by Rich Labriola, Chicago's premier artisan baker, you know they'll have great bread, but you won't believe the rest of their menu. Wood-fired Neapolitan pizzas, fresh pasta, and their world-famous Richie Burger. There's also homemade gelato and, of course, their famous bread. Labriola Bakery Cafe and Neapolitan Pizzeria. Conveniently located in the Oak Brook Promenade. At Lisa Thomas Salon, we think loving yourself and your selfie starts with the perfect stylist. That's why we've assembled an amazing team, each with a unique passion for beauty, providing the perfect combination of innovation and experience. Then adding just a little bit of fun for hair, skin, nails, and makeup. No one does beautiful like Lisa Thomas because life's too exciting to settle for the same old thing. Schedule today at Lisa Thomas Salon, a Redken Elite partner with three area locations. Thank you, Coach's Corner, for celebrating all these great athletes. Now celebrate the American classic with Apple Chevy. Classics like the Chevy Impala. Originating in 1958, the Chevy Impala is older than the states Hawaii and Alaska. It still holds its sleek and stylish design with a focus on luxury. It has the option to have the power of 305 horses. Don't take my word for it. Come test drive it today at Apple Chevy. All right, folks, welcome back to the Coach's Corner Show brought to you by Beggar's Pizza. I'd like to thank Andrew Ramos for being our guest, sales manager at Apple Chevrolet, Tinley Park, 8585 West, 159th Street. Okay, high and tight. Now, you know what? We're going to go to Players of the Week first. Let's go to the Players of the Week. Labriola Bakery Cafe, Golden Baguette, Player of the Week. We're going to go with Jordan Corbett, rushed for 217 yards and a touchdown, a lead Lincoln Way East to a 31-0 win over Bolingbrook on Friday. East completes a 9-0 regular season, defending Class 8A championship. Look like they're going to be the team to beat for sure. I know they got the number two seed, and Brother Rice got the number one, but Lincoln Way East is the best team in the state. The Lisa Thomas Salon Teen Club Player of the Week. We're going to go with Sarah Merzik. She had nine, nine digs, ten kills to lead Richards to a 25-17, 25-11 win over TF South for her efforts. We're going to hook her up with a gift certificate. Compliments of Lisa Thomas Salon. Locations in Orland, Mokina, Tinley Park. Remember, kids, high school kids, $17 boys haircut, $27 girls haircut to show your high school ID. All right, high and tight, sponsored by our good friends at Midwest Orthopedic Consultants. Hey, Hillcrest, great regular season, 9-0, and number one seed in Class 5A. Man, they lost their quarterback, Basil Weber, um, suffered an injury in Week 8. Probably not going to come back if they make it to the semis or the state championship. But, man, a great, great season by him and the Hawks. But don't count out the Hawks. Montez Garrett shifts the quarterback and gets it done. Have a great week. Get out to a playoff game. See you next week.